Hey guys, your boy Vertus here and in today's episode we'll be looking at how we're going to be using the fuel system inside of our side scroller game and start to bring it to life. So the player is going to have a whole bunch of abilities on the left hand side of their user interface that they can use. However to activate those abilities they must have the required amount of fuel which they'll need to collect from pickups. Having said all of that, we're going to be creating a variable for the fuel, creating a pickup item to regain their fuel, and lastly, create a basic keybinded ability that we can use to make sure that everything is working as it should. Once we've got all of the basics set up, we should be in a pretty good place to build our gameplay mechanics later on in the series. So to start off, we need to create the variable, the piece of information that tells the engine how much fuel the player has, and because it's player related, we're going to be doing this inside of the player blueprint. So go ahead and open that up, jump into the content browser and go to the script view, in here we need to go over to the variable section and press that little plus icon once again and name it player fuel for now. And make sure you change the data type to integer so it can handle a number value and lastly compile this and set the default value to 10. This is going to be the default and the maximum amount of fuel that the player can have and each ability will have a different amount of fuel required to use it ranging from 1 to 5 with the most powerful abilities using a little bit more fuel. Cool, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a little bit of script that will take away some of our fuel and that will be forming the back end of our fuel and ability system. So to get started, let's go ahead and create a basic key binding inside of our character blueprint. Right click, go down to input keyboard events and let's just scroll and let's just roll with the E key for now. Next up we need to make this ability reduce the player's amount of fuel. The way we're going to do this is by dragging out from pressed and typing in set player fuel. Then drag out from this little green entry node and create an integer minus integer node. This is what allows us to do the maths and tell the engine to reduce the value. First things first, inside of the first entry, we need to get the value for the player fuel by just dragging it out from the list of variables and then linking it up. Next, we need to set the second entry to minus one. So effectively, when the script is being run, it's now going to be taking one player fuel away from the player. But we need to see all of this on our screen, so we need to see that so that we know it's working. So let's go ahead and drag out from the exit of our set node and create a print string and connect the exit point to the entry for the print string and that will display the result of the math that we've just done. If we go ahead and press play in our viewport and press E a couple of times, you'll see the value going down in the top left hand corner. So we've got the basics of our fuel system up and running. The next thing we need to do is create a basic pickup to increase the fuel after it's used. This time, as the pickup is going to be separate to the character, we're going to need to create a new blueprint. So let's just go ahead and go into the content browser in the same folder as your character and just go ahead and right click and create a new blueprint class and make it an actor and just give it the name fuel pickup and go ahead and open this up. As of right now, there's nothing that the player will be able to see. So in the viewport, go ahead and create a sphere, scale it down a little bit so it's not too big, and if we go ahead and move the window and drag the blueprint into the scene, you should get a rough idea of how that'll look. So we've got an item we can see, but now it's time to add the script that'll add to the player fuel value. So head over to the event graph and we'll be using the event begin overlap node to add our script to. What this is going to do is fire off our script when the player begins to overlap with the pickup object. So first things first, drag out the other actor and type in cast to side scroller character. This will let us reference the character's value. This will let us reference the character's variables and make changes to them effectively, allowing us to increase the player's fuel. Drag out as side scroller character and type in set player fuel. And in the same way as before, we're going to be using integer plus integer to increase the value this time. Get the first value by dragging out from as side scroller character and get a reference to player fuel. And then just make sure the second value is set to 1 as we're going to be giving the player one bit of fuel each time they pick up one of these items. Next, we need to go ahead and destroy this actor once the player has collected it. Just go ahead and create a destroy actor node and hook it up. From this, all we need to do now is add a print string and hook that up to the exit node so that we can actually see the value of the fuel going up each time that we use it. So now if we go ahead and test this, let's see how it looks. We can run into it, but we can't actually overlap and pick the item. So we need to open the view. We need to open the blueprint back up, head into the viewport and select the sphere. Scroll all the way down to collision and change the collision preset to overlap all. 
press play again and now you'll see it's increasing our player's fuel and everything seems to be working. So, we've got the basics of our system set up and I think this is a great place to end the video. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already and as always guys, keep on creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.